Thank you very much. I'm, I'm going to introduce my paper about robust unsupervised factory activity recognition with multiple motives. Many companies now are looking forward to improving productivity for assembly works. Those types of works consist of a fixed order of operation series and repeat all over the time. Here is an example from our data. And a complete work period contains six different operations in this case, and the order as well as the duration of those operations are predetermined by the manager. Mostly, workers keep repeating this series of operations over and over again, while sometimes the worker will also do other operations, such as packing the box after it was full. And this undefined operations we call outlier operations. And in order to improve the efficiency of workers, managers want to understand the actual time spent on each operation as well as the time when the outlier operation occur and continue. So last year, we tried to recognize the starting time of operations using unsupervised learning method, which consists of two main parts. First, find the characteristic data segment motif that appears only once in each period. It's able to use three motifs to determine the duration of the middle period. And in the second step, we generate multiple particle series where each particle represents the starting time of an operation. Here, the first particle is generated from every trend changes. As the trend change indicates possible operation start times, which gives higher probability to find the correct operation start times. And the next particle is tracked according to the duration of its parent operation based on the work model. And this model can be easily built by managers from the instruction documents. Then each operation series is evaluated with the four scores and finally, the data is segmented according to the highest scoring features. So in this case, we defined that operation 1 starts from the first particle and ends at the second particle. While this method still has two main challenges. The accuracy decreases when outlier appears, which caused by the failure of tracking motifs and time-consuming while calculating the scores. So let's discuss them in detail. As for the first challenge, since we only found a single motif last year, it's difficult to determine the location of the outliers only by a single motif. So in this year, we look for um, several multiple motifs. And for the best motif we discovered, we track the next occurrence of motif with the highest sensor data similarity in the following working periods, where the similarity series is calculated from the autocorrelation of the motif candidates. As for other motifs, since they are not as confident as the best one, so in addition to data similarity, the relative distance to the best motif is also compared. Their temporal distance should be consistent in different periods. And by this way, we can easily determine if outlier exists in an area by comparing temporal distance with different period periods. As for the second challenge, when Evaluating the particle series, the similarity-based score is applied to compare sensor data similarity of same operations in different periods. DTW is able to compare data similarity with different length, length, but it's quite slow. While in this research, 
we introduced action motive score. The action motive corresponds to some basic actions that appears several times in each period, and it can be tracked in the similar way as the period motives. We calculate statistic features for these basic actions and re represent each operation using feature vectors. And Euclidean distance is calculated for comparing these operation similarities. And finally, let's take a quick look at the results. We compared our method with last year's method on six different datasets, and the average accuracy for the proposed outperforms other methods and computation time is also much faster. Here is an example output comparing the proposed with last year's. Thank you for attention.